Welcome to Simcast, Round the Clock Chef, and you are now tuned in with your host, Chef Tony. How you guys doing out there? This is Chef Tony, and you're tuned in with Simply Sweet, and you're listening to my station, Simcast. A little background on myself, uh, just to get things started. I started my business out of Milwaukee in 2010, and I've just been going ever since. I design and I make desserts for all occasions. Uh, in addition to the sweets, I am a personal chef, whereas I cook and prepare various entrees for any occasion or event as well as catering and creating custom meal plans for individuals based on a special diet or special need. Also, um, I'm on the web. You can check me out uh, through www.simplysweet1.wixsite.com slash 2010. Also, you can follow me on most social media outlets at Facebook or Twitter, Instagram, and etc. at Simply Sweet. If you're just tuning in, I am Chef Tony, and this is Simcast, podcast for Simply Sweet, catering and desserts. To get things started, I will be discussing about brands for your businesses, advertising and marketing, as well as talking about meal plans and the healthy benefits. I have several tips and recipes for healthy desserts, and if you're vegan or just need healthy ways of still making your dessert still taste like desserts, with using less sugars and natural replacements instead of the sugar, and if you are vegan, a replacement for the egg or dairy. I have tips for that as well. Small businesses. Owning and operating a business can require a lot of your time, especially starting out for the very first time. You might actually spend more time with sales than with the advertising itself. Now let's talk advertising for a minute. It could be the most important thing and beneficial thing that you would do for your up and coming. Do it the right way and your advertisements can work themselves depending on the type and the audience that you're trying to reach. A cost effective way I found to advertise any business are business cards. The easiest way to gain customers based on the convenience of having your business info at the hands of your potential customers or clients. A business card travels with the customer inside their wallet or purse. Especially if your business fits in with the everyday life of the customer, they'll never leave home without it. Also, with business cards, you can effectively reach your target audience faster just by doing your normal routine every day. Going to a grocery store can be a helpful marketing tool. The customer gets to see who you are as well as pitching your business on the spot. What well, great way to end the deal with personal pocket size advertisement such as a business card? I found they're easy to create for any level of business owner. Vistaprint is where I found was the easiest to create and add logos to if you want. So my tip to you is to start off with a business card to reach and increase customer base and get in a word of mouth feel for your up and coming small business. Also, with business cards, you can effectively reach your target audience faster just by doing your normal routine every day. Going to a grocery store can be a helpful marketing tool. The customer gets to see who you are as well as pitching your business on the spot. What well, great way to end the deal with personal pocket size advertisement such as a business card. I found they're easy to create for any level of business owner. Vistaprint is where I found was the easiest to create and add logos to if you want. So my tip to you is to start off with a business card to reach and increase customer base and get in the word of mouth feel for your up and coming small business. episode of chef talk and if you're new to the podcast don't forget to subscribe and be a part of the discussion